the next thing that we're going to look at is something called um, compound curves. And the reason we're going to look at this is because we want to create a spring. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a spring that has this helical coil. And then at the end of that spring, what I want is to have a little bit of a hook. Now that hook presents a little bit of a problem because it's actually going to curve in two directions. If we're looking at the hook from the side, what I want it to do is kind of create this, um, this U shape that we see here. And then from the other direction, we look at it from the end, I want it to curve like we see here in this kind of semicircle shape. So it's going to actually curve in, in multiple directions. Now in order to accomplish this, we use something called an intersection curve. If you've never seen one of these before, basically you go up to insert curve. Sorry, I said intersection, it's projected curve. Um, we're going to choose insert curve, projected curve, and then we're going to select both of these sketches. And you'll see that it basically projects both of those curves and it creates a curve where the two curves would actually intersect with one another. And the result is a really pretty looking curve that you see here. Now the reason that this is a little bit of a problem is because my goal is to actually sweep a circular cross section along the entire length of both this helical spiral and this projected curve that we created. And you'll actually see that that's not possible right out of the box with a sweep tool. If I create a sweep with a circular profile of a half millimeter and then I go to select the path for my sweep, It'll let me select one of these curves, but it won't necessarily let me select both of these curves. Even if I try to use the selection manager and I say select multiple, it'll only let me select one of the two curves. And that's because if you're using these complex curves, the sweep wants one continuous complex curve. The way that we get around this is with a tool that I think everybody should know how to use. And that's going to be up here under insert curve. It's called the composite curve. With a composite curve, you can simply join two entities. So in this case, I can select both of these curves and it will join them into a single continuous curve. Now what I can do is under my sweep tool, I can select again my circular profile option. And then we'll go ahead and specify our circular cross section. Uh, the diameter is going to be half a millimeter, and you'll see that it's able to complete that sweep along that continuous composite curve. So this is a great way to create uh, very complex sweep paths. Um, you can use several different tools. In this case, we used a helix, we used a projected curve, and then we combined those with a composite curve. And that really simplified um, kind of our design process for creating this really neat spring.